All right, we've done a lot since we started the Two Johnnies. We've been to America, Australia, skiing, the whole lot. Now we've decided to discuss what other kind of trips and adventures we'd like to put on our bucket list. Now, if you don't know what a bucket list is, it is defined as follows. A number of experiences or achievements that a person hopes to have or accomplish during their lifetime. So basically, shit you want to do. Yes. Now, really. we asked on social media, what was your bucket list? And here is what the good people have said back to us now. Well, Maura did this. Yeah. <clears throat> Bex said, swim with sharks. Bex, why the fuck do you want to do that? <laughs> that is very dangerous. Why do you want to do that, Bex? <laughs> like, is, is, sharks going to kill you. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I wouldn't do that, no way. You can no do points. the ones where you're in a big cage and the shark is outside. Yeah, but then you're not swimming. Exactly. You're caging with sharks. You're floating with sharks. Bex, revisit that one. Accidental Gypsy says they want to hike to Everest Base Camp. I think, I think you can just get the bus, can you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that, that one do it for me. Go on. <laughs> And more people's dreams were going to shit on here. <laughs> Owen said, step foot on all seven continents. Oh, uh, travel, I always wonder about travel. You know, I know a lot of people who travel <laughs> and like, it's, it's like, it's like it's just something that they do so that they can tell you about. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, did you see that thing in China? Do you know I've actually been to China? <laughs> I know those people. And like, I swear to God, like, how do you know they travel? They'll fucking tell you. So oh like, yeah, remember Indonesia, man! Magic, <laughs> such a magical week in Indonesia. Yeah, what a fabulous culture! What fa- fa- fantastic people! Like, shut the. F- what would you know about? Been there for a week on holidays. So you don't see the value of travel? No, 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 no. See the value, all right? Like a little bit in that, like oh, it's cool to like go somewhere, you know, like Lanzarote. A lot of value in travel to to the Canary Islands, but I mean. Just people just like talking about. Like, I remember being in the pub one night like with a couple of people and they just kept talking about all the places they've been. Oh yeah. And yeah, I was just yeah. like, shut the fuck up. This is a fucking cock measuring contest. Like Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I've walked the Great Wall of China. Well w- wait till I tell you, I've been to fucking Kathmandu. Do you know? I don't care where you've been. I actually It's your heard, round. I heard Kathmandu was a kip. Is it? Yeah. Wouldn't do it, buddy. <laughs> the one thing I would say about travel, do you know like we had our old lives? And then we started the two journeys and we have our new lives. Mm. And like your perception of the world has changed. Oh, like I didn't want to travel in my last life. No, 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 I'm not talking about travel. Okay. Just saying like the way you look at the world has changed now because your life has changed. Possibly, yeah. What do you mean possibly? Absolutely. You yeah, don't think yeah, the same yeah. as you used to yeah, think. Yeah. But travel can have that effect on you too. You can think you differently. You become a prick. <laughs> because you see different, the way different cultures operate. You'd be over in fucking... China and you'd be like geez the way they do that now is good actually maybe we could do that at home now there's no need to go on about it I'm with you 100% yeah mm. don't know we're Ireland we don't need to be like anyone else no we're only us but look step foot on all seven continents like that that's definitely just so you can tell people you did that yeah yeah <coughs> yeah. oh and you know no disrespect you could probably do that in airports man yeah you know you just fly fly to a load of airports <laughs> seen a class video yes so sorry a little bit off topic but this lad <laughs> went to London yeah into the airport and was like I'm going to get in the cheapest flight yeah, nine euro. He went to like, I don't know, fucking Sweden or something, and then he was in the airport. There, he's like, right, same again, cheapest flight, fourteen euro, Istanbul. Wow. So he's in Istanbul for twenty seven euro. Then he goes again, forty four euro, Dubai. Wow. And then another like fifty something. He went to like somewhere in Nepal. Wow. Yeah. So he got there for like fucking ninety quid. What desk do you go up to? To ask that I don't know You probably you could probably just go on Skyscanner now this day And just go on Because I tried to do it On my phone Obviously I wasn't Wasting my time Travelling somewhere Yeah And it was like 9 euro got me to London And then 9 euro Got me to Stockholm So for 18 euro You go to Stockholm It's just You just have to stop Fuck, London, Next right? weekend off We have not There you go <laughs> There you go Neve, Johnny What did she want to do She said she wanted To travel to Japan And she's got a new job And she gets to go to Japan So she's going to be Building robots um, Aidan said Burning Man Festival. You know the thing out in the desert in America? Mm. Did you know? As soon as I say that, Max is like, bullshit. <laughs> Google found their CEO by bringing him to Burning Man. Oh, yeah, you were telling me that before. How did they? The two lads who, who were running Google back is, uh, around 2000, 2001, they were like, we need to expand. We need a new C- CEO. So they brought like their last res- prospective candidate to the five-day festival in the desert, and they wanted to watch, and this is the quote, his state of flow. 
and would he go back into himself? How would he handle the uncertainty of the situation? We're sleeping in shit conditions and, and like lack of sleep and taking psychedelic drugs and working as a team. And then that's how they picked him. Yeah. Not that's the worst way to not get the job for the other lad. It's a big job interview. <laughs> All that and just sitting oh. in front of people. Right, let's run through these really quick. <laughs> Catty said, visit New Zealand, build a dream home on the West Coast and write a fiction novel. Fair play, that is that is good. Now, writing a novel is a yeah, good idea. Book. Yeah. And Podrick said, to convince the father to put the toilet roll on the right way around. Oh, yeah. you don't need those people in your life. Big offence. Big offense. Philip said he wants to buy a fent. They are expensive. They are very expensive. And uh, Rachel said she wants to swim with dolphins, do Route 66 trip, and stay at Giraffe Manor in Kenya. What? I've been on those roads in America. Route 66 is like something that people are like, oh, I'd love to travel Route 66. It's pure straight road. Just fuck all on it. <laughs> Don't bother your arse. There you go. Next. The, the Giraffe Manor in Kenya, I looked it up, it's $600 a night. And it's like in a giraffe reserve, they stick their head in the window and shit. Well, oh, that's... Watch a Disney film. Sinead <laughs> wants to run a marathon. Yeah, just do it, Sinead. Yeah, that's go out, go out, no more about it. Go out and do the training. Go out, Sinead, do not run and go out no more about it. And Dave wants to attend Samba Soccer Camp for Adults. Dave, I love you. I am going to, we are going to get this up and running. Two Johnny Samba Soccer Camp. And you have to be over 18. It's going to be like Samba Soccer, maybe a bit of Samba Dancing and Drink. We're, we're going to organise this. Yeah, load of lads at Fake Tan. Samba just... Soccer Camp. Possibly could be Lanzarote next summer. I don't know. Look, I'm working on it. Neve <laughs> said she wants to ride Johnny B. Look, as I said to Sinead, Neve, just do it. <laughs> 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 oh, also, $600 a yeah, night. No. Yeah. This, isn't, <laughs> this isn't fucking Jim will fix it here, Neve. Uh, Poggy said, Mon- Mongol rally with my dad. No, I've no idea. Do Mongols race each other or what? The Mongol rally... But with his dad is a nice idea. I think that's making memories with your parents. Are, yeah, are, are, do something cool together. Yeah, that is a good one. I have no idea what the Mongol rally it is. It goes from England to Mongolia. It's 10,000 miles. Right. It takes you three or four weeks. Like the gumball yeah. rally, but wild. Anyway, Stephen said, convince my dad to do the Camino in Spain before he's too old. That's That would be cool. Mm. You'd hate that. But it ta- <laughs> that takes about 30 days to walk this pilgrimage. The way of St. James across the top of northern Spain. Finton said he wants to shag his teacher. What is each, We've all tried that. He said shag a teacher. A teacher, okay. Well, what age are you, Fenton? Yeah. <laughs> if you're an adult, it's not quite as cool. Well, Fenton, <laughs> Fenton, Fenton I, can ga- I can guarantee you, if you are looking to shag just any sort of teacher, if you go to Limerick, any college night, there's a college there, Mary I, and you might just shag a teacher. But student teacher is not the same thing. But she's at, he doesn't specify. Specific. He doesn't specify. Yeah. yeah, okay. There we go, whatever. Um, Paul wants a trip to Nashville and swimming lessons. Now, Nashville is about 400 miles inland, so I don't know <laughs> what he's doing there. <laughs> Hundreds of listeners have texted in and said they want to see Mayo winning Sam. You know, you want to probably want to put something realistic on your bucket list. <laughs> no, look, I think everybody in Ireland likes to see Mayo win just once. Who sent that in? Aidan O'Shea or something? <laughs> yeah, it was. All the O'Shea brothers have sent that in. <laughs> Um, now, our bucket lists. Johnny B, do you want to kick us off with what's on your bucket list? I'm sure it's littered with travel and hemp jumpers. Here's <laughs> <laughs> oh, some break. <laughs> um, I'd like to record an album that I was mm. actually happy with. A Are you dead. saying you're not happy with any music we've released? It's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's getting there. A couple of good songs. <laughs> yeah, but I an, agree. I an agree. album is a body of work more than a tour or anything that will last forever. Like, we were only talking about this. The Sex Pistols, right? Really famous band. Lauren, have you ever heard? I'm them? nodding here in agreement, even though I don't know who they are. But go you've on. never heard the Sex Pistols. <laughs> well, I leave now. Yeah. Neil, Neil, he's going to explain to you after. <laughs> Did you ever hear Johnny Rotten? He was on like "Get Me Out of the Jungle." Not me, no. <laughs> Am I calling you money that? Oh, but no, it was an iconic band that were absolutely massive. But they only ever had one album. So it was called "Nevermind the Bollocks." It's huge. Just if you make an album can be one of those things that will live forever and I'd love to make one. Johnny Smacks. Um, number one on my bucket list will be Two Johnnies, the musical. Yes. There you go. I like me musicals. Into me all musicals. I went to see a few in my time and I think we could make a musical about our lives. Mm. Two Johnnies musical and we'd write it, direct it, act in it, to sing in it, the whole lot, the whole oh. shebang. And then... When we've done that and we've won like fucking Tony Awards and brought the show to Broadway, then 20th Century Fox come to the door. 
boys, we're going to make it into motion picture. We're going to say, show us the fucking money. <laughs> And then we're then going we're, to sign the deal and we're going to make two Johnnies to fill them. We'll say, hey, Fox, see that amount of money you just offered us? Double it. Double it. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to make, so the two Johnnies the musical and tour that musical and then make a motion picture. Not for too long because we get sick of it. Yes. Just a little tour. Because touring can be tough at times. Johnny, what's next on your bucket list? Yeah. Travel the world. Travel the world. Yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah. yeah. A, a mate of mine went to the Galapagos Islands there. Be class. I see penguins and shit. Because the ones at the zoo are small, I want to see the big ones. Mm. <laughs> Penguins. <laughs> Penguins are deadly, lad. Yeah, but again, you can see them in the zoo. Yeah, what a better zoo. Yeah, I have to go on my own. You won't come to the zoo with me. No, no, no. The last time we went, man, you got too obsessed with the penguins. We fucking love penguins. <laughs> also, I'm going to do the Inca Trail. Yeah. Soon enough. Anyway. Second on my list is um, I want to be rich. Now, I don't mean rich. What I mean here is financial freedom. The freedom to be able to make choices in life to do what you want, really. You mean the freedom to make bad choices. <laughs> yeah, I've made enough of them every time. But no, I mean genuinely. Like, waking up and being able to go, do you know what, I'll do this or I'll do that. And you have the financial freedom. You don't have to worry about it. Like, I was never really driven by money. It's more... the. To be able to say no to things is, is the dream one. So like as the, as that's why they call it fuck off money. Yeah, fuck off money. That's 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 so what you, you can tell make. people to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, and plus, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Like I was on three hundred and ten euro a week in Super Value. So like, you know, it'd be great to be absolutely rich to go from that. Um but I was never really driven by money. I remember I went in for a job interview in the bacon factory, our local bacon factory, where everybody has worked there from for where I'm from, like at some stage or another. And I went into the interview and I was like I need this job because I need a few pound because I've got no money. And I went in and your man was like, so what motivates you? And I was like, you know, obviously you do what everybody does in interviews. You spoof and you tell him what you think he wants to hear. So he's like, you know, <laughs> why do you want to work here? And I'm like, oh, well, I like being part of the team, you know, and I like, I like I'm like, i very driven. And, I, and he just says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you want to work here? And then I was like, yeah, you know, I like get to know new people. And he's like, this is a fucking bacon factory. <laughs> this is a meat plant. <laughs> Why do you want to work here? And then I just went, money. He went, yeah, good man. Next question. <laughs> Did you get the job? I got the job. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could have just come wait, in and be like, look, I have no money. I want a job. He'd have been like, yeah, right, Grant, start Monday. Was there a second question? Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was probably like, will you do overtime? Will you do overtime? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, good, because all they want in there is people to do overtime all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, at the moment, I will not do any overtime. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, financial freedom was number two. Number three on my list would be to win something with our GA club. Yeah. It's not looking fucking good, <laughs> lad, is it? It's not looking good, no. We're struggling at the moment. But it's just one of those things that I think you have for life. Mm. And then you'll be down the pub when you're now, lad, like Noel, and you'll be going, hey, young fellas. Remember when we won something and you, you'd win fucking nothing, you heard. So. Yeah. Like, we're still talking about a game we won four years ago. Yeah. And it was just one game. It wasn't even a semi final. It wasn't a final. It was just a game. Because when you're out, lads, you don't want to be like, hey, remember when we lost all them games? Remember when we got relegated? <laughs> yeah. I mean, never won. Never won a game. A, a final or a. No, division I've lost, anything. like, I lost 10 North finals with, um, with Ross Gray before he transferred to care, and I lost two All Irelands with the school. And um, I've lost the South final and the County final with care. That's a really sad story. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's heartbroken. I'm going to retire as a fucking waster. So. Bit of a jinx, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The year I left Ross Cray, the football club won a county final. And the year, like, I also played with an amalgamation club. And the year I left, they won the senior <laughs> county final. So I'm thinking maybe if I just transfer clubs, so anybody would like to take some <laughs> off our hands. But winning something it would it'd be special and it'd be special for the family and everyone as well. Like and and you have that bond with them lads then forever. I think. You do like I I managed the, the junior B team and we won us out mm. and like you never forget it, like yeah. after life. I feel like we were all on tour in Vietnam together or something. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there, Lauren, man. You, you don't know, know what it you feels play like. You killing all in the rain. You don't know. <laughs> That's number three on my list. Number three on my list is it's a stress-free life. Easier said than done. Now, what I mean by them, like, my things are quite realistic. There's no point saying, like, oh, I want to fucking lick a dolphin's arse. Do you know what I mean? Who wants to do that? <laughs> I want a stress-free life. Now, what I mean by that is I want no major catastrophes. 
You know what I mean? On my bucket list. I'm, like, that's why I'm trying to avoid these stuff. So people are like, I want to swim with sharks. But you might die, so I just don't bother. Why put yourself in that situation? So, a stress-free life for me. No fucking aggro. Easy going. Three holidays a year. <laughs> just doing what I like. Doing what I love, which I'm doing at the moment. I just want to stay like this forever. That's what I want. Stress-free life. I want to stay as I am. Preferably at 28. Forever. <laughs> I just want to live Peak year I want to live forever <laughs> like. No man Stress free life doesn't exist It's like If you had You get happiness from like Achieving things You know like Solving problems and stuff I think if If every day was too easy You'd be bored mm. I'd like a few weeks Of being bored Yeah I think you just need Want better problems Yeah Yeah like, do you want to go to the Grammys or the Oscars? Like, you know, you know what I mean? I can't, <laughs> can't go to them both because I'm doing that thing with Brad Pitt. Yeah. Man. I told him we'd do it. Like, that's a nice problem. The life we want. Number four, John, on your bucket list. Um, get a hot tub. Very achievable. I'm, yeah, very. I'm, if you just buy those last 200 <laughs> tickets. I'm in, actually in talks. Yeah. And I have a man coming around. Because we were on, um, we're on the Ian Dempsey Rex show at the ski trip. And, um, they, were, and they were like... Um, Ian was like, oh, what are you going to do or whatever? I was like, we're going to try and buy a hot tub. And then Johnny was like, if anybody wants to sponsor the hot tub. <laughs> and then this guy actually rang us, but he wasn't willing to sponsor it. No. He might. I'm going to squeeze him a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that, that's an achievable goal. That's a thing. I'm mm. going to get a hot tub. Yeah. Smacks, number four on your list? I want to run a pub. <laughs> For some reason. I want to run a pub. You own your own pub? Yeah, own my own pub. And I, like, yeah, look, I don't want to be stacking the shelves or like lifting in those massive kegs. I'm past that But I mean I'd like to actually Own a pub With my name over the door What would you call it? Maybe the Smack House <laughs> <laughs> I, To be honest I'd probably run it abroad Lanzarote Yeah but you see Like you don't want to be Like running a pub And the Saturday night's pissing rain And like you know You're around It'd be Eesh. nice to be like Welcoming holiday maker Everyone's in a good mood You get less aggro that way So you think you'd retire To own your own bar maybe Poss- Possibly yeah Semi-retire Yeah semi-retire yeah. To a bar in, in the sun Yeah yeah, maybe not call it the smack house. That's got a, <laughs> got a different meaning. But yeah, something like that. Like The two Johnnies in. Okay, obviously I get a cut then. Yeah, maybe what, 10, 15%? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, no, I would. I'd like to retire into the sun and own my own pub. That's yeah. not a bad one. Yeah. I think that's the first one I, I agree with. <laughs> you <Yeah>. fuck. <laughs> um, my one, because we don't realize the kind of influence we have on people sometimes. And we get a lot of listeners who'd be like, oh, lads. I really You know You helped me along Or whatever I realised that We should run a campaign A campaign That really makes a difference To the people of Ireland And I think we have enough people Listening to the podcast Followers on social media That If we really put our weight Behind the campaign We could make a difference So We've started with something That's very close to our heart And we're launching this campaign now And It was brought to our attention During the week That a man In Galway Paid six twenty five <laughs> for a chicken roll. Absolutely outrageous. Out, out fucking outrageous. Now, okay, okay, he got two rashers on it. And and I understand that if you're getting extra toppings and they're meat, maybe you're getting shrizo or pudding or something, mm. that might be extra. But a chicken roll should be four euro. A chicken roll cannot exceed four euro and it should come with at least three toppings. So to all those shop owners out there, if we all get together, we've got the power. Yeah. Yes, we can. Save our chicken rolls. Save <laughs> our chicken rolls. That is the hashtag. Hashtag save our chicken rolls, right? Yeah. Brown or white, butter or mayo, it can be plain, southern fried or spicy and three toppings. But it, and it can't exceed four euro. Yes. Now, if you're like I said, if your top extra topping is like another meat. Yeah, okay, you probably a, go to four fifty. A levy. Yeah. <laughs> or or guacamole now is is a you know avocado. No one sir, sorry, no yeah. one should be getting that. If you're getting that in a chicken roll, unfollow us. <laughs> <laughs> but like if you get a burrito, guac is extra. Okay. I take issue with we're, that. Yeah, but we're just going on chicken rolls okay, here. Burritos now. are next. Yeah, burritos are next. We'll just so what we're looking for is a cap on chicken rolls. Cap the chicken roll at four euro. And if any shops want to get in touch and let us know that they are, they're on this buzz, they're on this campaign with us, yeah. shops, you can contact us directly. Email podcast at the two johnnies.ie. And, and we'll, we'll shout you out. We'll shout you out, yeah. Save our chicken, hashtag save our chicken rolls. Make sure and use that in all your posts. We're going to get a cap on chicken rolls. First man in touch was our local supermarket. Yeah. 
four euro. I said, how many toppings do you get? He said, buffet job. Many toppings as you want. Now, the other garage in town are 425, so <laughs> I'm going to be calling up with a fucking shotgun. <laughs> We're going to sort this, lad. Save our chicken roll, Johnny. We're going to make a difference to this country. Yes. Now, the last thing on your bucket list, Sean. I want to do a duet with the one and only Garrett Brooks. That's fair enough. And I'd like that song to be Unanswered Prayers. So if you want to listen to it, it's a song. Or I actually listened to it before we came in today to do the podcast. Yeah. I was nearly crying in the shower. Man, it's a lovely little song. We could do a cut. Send it to him. Yeah. We and just get him to do a line on it. Edit you in. What wow. If you, if, you, if you matched, if we could get his version and a backing track, see if we could like mishmash them together. Okay, we are going to, we're going to start this out. <laughs> we're going to get, yeah, a duet with Garrett Brooks. That's, ta- that's, that's, that's probably the big one. That's probably the main one. And I want to see him in concert as well, so. Yeah, Lauren, do you have anything on your bucket list? You mentioned one of them earlier, uh, the Galapagos Islands. I watched yeah. a David Attenborough documentary years ago and it looks class. So that's top of my bucket list. And decent on the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> a skydive. Skydive? I wouldn't okay. do a bungee jump, but I'd do a oh. skydive. I don't know, that one seems safer. I do a skydive. Don't ask me why. Is it class? Yeah, you can do it in Kilkenny. See, I want to do it somewhere picturesque. <laughs> People in Kilkenny? <laughs> Aim your insults towards Lauren. <laughs> like somewhere like Dubai or okay. like New oh, Zealand. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that's not bad. No, that's fair enough. Um, what else did I have in my Marry bucket? Marry a GA player? Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd say that's probably not top of the bucket yes. list now. That's on the fuck it list. <laughs> 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 Jokes. Uh, um, but are you like, just do a skydive. Yeah. Yeah, but see, I want to just wait until I go somewhere nice. So when I go somewhere nice, I will. Okay. Maybe I'll do it in the Galapagos Islands. Probably can't, but okay. sure luck. They're like a protected area. Yeah. Maura's not here this week, but she's left us her bucket list. Number one, she wants to go and see the Serengeti in Kenya. And uh, number two, she wants to go to the Calgary Stampede in Canada. And she says here, it's like a rodeo version of the Plowing Championships. And lastly, on Man, Mar- that, that's just going to be Tang Hall. Yeah. That is wall to wall. Some flare jeans at Marty that, Marty Moan, Richie Remo, 24 hours a day, lad. Don't you use Marty in the same, <laughs> in the same breath as him. Um, and number three on Mara's bucket list is she wants to see Dolly Parton in concert and go to Dollywood in Tennessee. Um, if uh, would you recommend that, lad, for me, for my bucket list? Or? Well, Maura has suggested that uh, you go see Garth Brooks in concert, and she wants you to go to a nudist beach. Fuck that, man. I'm not taking off my shorts. <laughs> and she wants you to climb Galtimore. Okay. Well, I'll definitely, I'll climb Galtimore just for Maura, so. In the summer? Uh, yeah, yeah. And if Maura would like to buy me tickets to Garth Brooks in concert, then that's also no problem. Um, for you, Johnny, she recommends mm-hmm. doing the Camino and uh, probably shift and Miss Ireland. Or if you couldn't manage that, Miss Makra. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue they're a similar standard. Yes, I would agree. Yeah, they both, both have things going for them. So, Miss Ireland, if you're listening, get in touch. There's a, <laughs> there's a muscle-bound, disease-free uh, okay. gentleman here in T. Johnny's HQ. And he's looking for you. Bucket list. There you have it, lads.